The key that makes Mac and Yo-Yo work is the willingness to die for one another. I said let her go! The only person I care about is here too. Man, I don't know if love gets any deeper than that. They're separated at the beginning of the season. Mac didn't close the doors to avoid distractions. He just closed the doors on me. He breaks up with me because he's afraid to put me in danger. As you love anyone, you wouldn't want to put them out in a situation where they could possibly die. I screwed up. There's this whole work of trying to find their relationship within a group that f puts their life at risk every day to save humanity. We've been through hell and back. Both of us, and I figure if, if I could get you off my mind, then that would help me be a, a, a better director. You know, clear-headed, even-handed. And? Did it? I don't know. Because you're always on my mind. Yo-Yo and Mac always have that bond. And there's always that love there, even though circumstances might keep them apart. It just, it can't be denied. It's part of their growth. And I think it proves to Mac that we can take it slow. Yeah, Yo-Yo's a firecracker and she's rebellious and all this, but in season six, we saw her play for the team and vouch for him and defend him and trust him, we see their relationship even stronger and much more grounded than it's ever been.